We have turned the page on a new month. And March's busy one is National Reading Month, and we're going to the library. <laughs> yes, okay, and the spring semester, of course, is still going strong, but here to help us find some reads and after-school programs that your kids are gonna enjoy, and best of all, it's all free when you go, is Kristen Yordan, Ch Children's Services Librarian for the San Antonio Public Library. Welcome. Oh, okay. thank you. All right, so crafts are just one of the things kids can do in these programs, right? Absolutely, yeah, and I brought a number of crafts with me, but um, we have all kinds of programs like Lego clubs, STEM clubs, we have our um, teen and tween clubs, all for all ages. And this is primarily coming up during spring break because a lot of folks, you know, may not be going somewhere. It's like, I just need a little bit of a, you know, something extra for kids to do. Perfect Absolutely. opportunity, right? Yeah. Okay, this is something I've not, I've mm -hmm. chalk drawing, we've all done this before, but water chalk? Yeah, try it. Um, so it's really cool. It blends really nicely, and then as it dries, it kind of pops the color. Oh. So you can just take any chalk, yep. dip it in water, and it kind of mimics, as you said, maybe like an oil. Oil pastel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my yeah. goodness. That, that does have a, a whole different feel to it like that. I yeah. have no idea what I'm drawing right now, so. <laughs> I'm, just, that is okay. I'm just swirling things I, around. Uh, yeah, we're just, we're just coloring <laughs> on here. Now, okay, so besides, you know, wet chalk art, mm -hmm. um, what other activities are there? So I brought some beaded bracelets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm that you can add beads to. This is a great activity for kids because it develops their fine motor skills. They get to practice that. You could also um, practice things like patterns. Um, start with a few beads and then, you know, say complete the pattern. Okay, now, and again, what ages are all these programs for? So we have programs for all ages of kids, teens, adults. Um, so in our listings, we'll say if programs are for a specific age group, mm -hmm. um, like teen programs, you know, are for just teens, but um, if it doesn't say, usually for all ages. And these aren't drop off. You don't take your five year old no. there and just go, hey, <laughs> no, <laughs> have um, fun, I'll pick you up later on, right? Our uh, teen programs, um, the teens can come by themselves, um, as well as of course adult programs. But young children um, usually should be accompanied by a caregiver. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the programs, I mean, there are also, uh, you know, language programs if you kind of check throughout the year, right? Yes. Um, at our adult learn centers mm -hmm. for adults, they have ESL classes. Sometimes we'll have special story times mm -hmm. um, in Spanish or um, other languages as well. Okay. And also, you. Uh, can't forget about all the books there because there's nothing like mm -hmm. just cracking open a book and even reading with you. And that's a great opportunity to do it there at the library. Yeah. Sit down and read a great book and you've got books all about women for Women's History Month, right? Yes, it is Women's History Month. So I brought books from a book list that our library put together um, highlighting women throughout history that did incredible things. Um, so I just have a sampling here, but there's tons and tons of books that are recommended. Okay, and of course these programs are important to have in the community, right? Absolutely. So the way I see the library is a community gathering space where people can learn from each other. People can um, talk to each other and learn about different backgrounds and cultures. Um, it's a great place to meet together. And the best thing about it is too, it's all free. Absolutely. Just sign up for a library card and you're good to go because you can rent yeah. books online yes. and download them to your readers, right? Mm -hmm. Or just pick up a book, drop it off there at the library or something like that. Yeah. And all these programs now, and obviously this is talking about for spring mm -hmm. break, but mm -hmm. are these available throughout the year? Yes. All year long the library offers programs for all age groups. So mm -hmm. And at all the different branches? Yes. Yes, we have programs at all of our branches. Okay, and to find out all the times and everything like that, yes. you just need to uh, go to that, go to the uh, the website and find out yes. which branch and what times and everything. On our website, we have an events calendar where you can find out all the details of what location, the time, mm -hmm. dates, all of those things. And you can look ahead at the mm -hmm. next month or the following, and you know, and kind of find which ones you want to go to. Thank you yeah. so much.
For more information on the San Antonio Public Library and their free programs, just head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we provided a link or just scan that QR code on your screen. All right, we'll still celebrate San Antonio with us on YouTube. Yeah, all of your favorite DIY videos, food, drinks, tips, and tricks. If you've seen it here, it's on the SA Live YouTube channel. Just search KSAT SA Live on YouTube and like, subscribe, and ring the bell.